What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Dad Does Videos. We're here in our kitchen standing in front of our refrigerator where I wanted to talk a little bit today about how to replace the gasket or seal on your refrigerator door. It's super easy. You do not need to call a service technician to do this at all. We have a Frigidor French door gallery refrigerator. I'm gonna show you how to replace that gasket or that seal on one of the doors on your refrigerator. This is the part that I'm talking about right here. I keep saying gasket or seal because people refer to them interchangeably. Personally, I like appliancepros.com for all my appliance parts. I found them to be a little bit more expensive than some of the other places, but there are things that I like about them. The customer service is great. You can call there and ask some questions all the time. They're, they're very knowledgeable. You can return the products that you order within a year. And I love how they ship things. So this gasket, and I haven't even opened it yet, comes in this very wide and very long box. And that's because it's important that the gasket does not lose its shape going through the shipping process because if it does it takes a while for it to regain its shape once you open the package you don't want it to be all kinked and crinked and all those different things because you want it to lay flat against all those pieces and parts of your refrigerator so let me get this open show you what it looks like all right so we have our box open and this is what i mean see how the seal is perfectly straight in all these different directions. There are no kinks in it, at least any big kinks that we can see upon opening the box. A couple other things before we get started in removing the old gasket and putting this new one in. If you receive your gasket during the winter, or if you notice upon opening your package that there are some kinks in this, let it sit in the house at room temperature for 24 hours, 48 hours. The rubber, as it becomes accustomed to the room temperature, starts to take its normal shape. If you need a little extra help, you can use a standard hair dryer, put it on low heat, and just go around the places where there are some kinks, where maybe there are some things that you need to straighten out. All right, so let's get into the process to remove your current seal on your refrigerator door. And this is really easy. No tools needed. Just start at one of the corners on top. And I'll try to stay out of the way as best I can and just pull. And just go slowly all the way around and you'll be able to remove your current gasket just by doing this. It just comes right out of the little slots all the way around the refrigerator. Before we put on the new gasket, I just like to go over the places where the gasket is gonna fit in and just rub it down a little bit with a slightly damp cloth. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna go all the way around. And then on the new gasket itself, I'm going to make sure that is clean as well and just go over it really briefly with this cloth. All right, before we add our new gasket to our door, I just wanted to call your attention. You're going to see on your gasket these little puncture holes. There's one, there should be one on each side of your gasket. Those are normal. They allow for a little bit of air pressurization to happen. If they weren't there, the door to your refrigerator would be a little bit harder to open. All right, so let's open that door where we're gonna put that new gasket on. We have our gasket. This is the part, this kind of thick strip that goes all the way around the gasket. That's gonna be the part that just fits in the opening that goes all the way around your door. And again, no tools are needed. You're just going to push the gasket in. So what I like to do is just kind of hang this up there like that. Make sure it goes all the way around and then start at one of these corners. And for our purposes here of 
recording this, I'll just start at this upper left hand corner because it feels like this is the, the best angle. And you simply push and you will feel that part of the gasket go into the opening all the way around the door. And you just want to smooth that part of the gasket all the way around and just go around with your hand just like I'm doing right here and push that in. That's, this is it. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this all the way around and I'll show you what this looks like when I'm finished. Alright, so we are finished putting ours in and as you can see here, there's no gap all the way around the door. There should be nothing between the gasket and where your refrigerator door starts. So just double check all the way around your gasket to make sure that is the case. What I like to do once I'm finished getting this on is do that visual inspection and then I like to double check and just go around and push again all the way around just to make sure. Now, if you notice some kinking or places where you think the gasket should be expanding and it's not there, again, get one of those hair dryers from your bathroom, put it on low heat and just go over it for five or 10 minutes. It should expand sometimes these gaskets also take five or seven days to completely form around your door. So no need to call the place where you got it from until about a week later. If it's still not adjusting correctly and forming around your door, then you can call. That's it, folks.